All right, good morning, guys. Uh, it's 6.45 right now. They still haven't opened the gate. So I did wake up at 5.30 to see if they'll open it. Went back to sleep till 6, but I got it all untarped and unstrapped. So load looks pretty good. Uh, the other side, the faster side, I took the plastic and I put it up to the top. So when we get in there, all I had to do is pull on this side and all the plastic will come out. All I had to do is put the straps away. So we should be ready to go. Hopefully get out of here by 7.30 is the goal. Uh, I don't know where my 10's at right now, but it's gonna probably be around 7.30. Anyways, uh, probably gonna start heading up north because I need to get to the terminal. I need to do an alignment. I need to get one of my lights fixed. Uh, my airbags keep dumping in the back. <laughs> so this trailer, you guys know, it's just been a nightmare. In the past year and a half, I've done more work on this trailer than anything. And uh, I love her, so and I'm gonna stick with her. Uh, stick with her as is an abusive relationship. So, um, so wait for them to open the gate. We'll get loaded, and I'll let you guys know what the next load is. What's up guys, we're here. Uh, it's more like Vernon, California is what they call it. Los Angeles, Long Beach. This is where all the ports are anyways. Count this bar as Long Beach. But, I feel like I've been here before. I don't know about this place, but in this area I've been here numerous times. The only time I picked up here is a lot of times is that flooring that comes from the port, so what I usually pick up. I don't remember picking up, but this looks like coils, uh, what I've seen, so it looks like it's going to be some suicide coils that we're going to be doing. It's a tight turn in here, though. got checked in uh, it looks like I'm gonna get those like metal pipes like this stuff right here not the coils so maybe that's a good thing <laughs> I just, think just chain it and then secure it so not too bad not too bad um, there's one truck here I just gotta put six dunnage and uh, should be um, out of here pretty quick hopefully because I can't remember the name you guys got to help me Long Beach there's this kind of metal stuff that we pick up at Prime it always goes to like Colorado. I can't think of the name, but maybe I'll pop it up uh, when I figure it out. But it's just like that place. So I saw all this out here. So I thought we were gonna get some coils, but I guess not. So um, we're gonna wait for a little bit. I hope it's not a long wait, even though this guy's here, but the pure saying six hours. So I actually need to go to the bathroom. So <laughs> all right guys, uh, we'll see you when we get loaded. Pray for me. I can go in. Finally got to go in. Wait an hour and a half. Probably an hour and a half to load. Hope we can get out of here by two. That'll be good. not too bad on this load it's got the tear stare <laughs> uh, shouldn't go anywhere but can't do bellies on these or anything so we're gonna get this strap because this guy's coming forward uh, won't be able to do any bellies or anything but 
it is what it is. We'll get this thing tightened down uh, and we'll roll out here pretty soon, hopefully in 30 minutes. Guys, we got this protected as much as I can. Especially that in. That's why I like the small ones. The small ones are really good for stuff like that. I'll show you on the other side why. This needs to come down this way. Okay. Looks good. I doubled, uh, fold that uh, blanket. Put this edge protection. You guys can see, I can't get it to tape because it's oily. So this won't be able to stick. It's very oily. So we'll just have that pressed against that. And you guys can see right here, same thing. I tape this, hold that. Those are, those are the small rubber mats. So same thing here. Just wanted to keep this on its corner. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna do the back first and we're gonna see how much we have left here in the front. I might do a three tarp system where I put baby like right here and just wrap it around and then do the two steels is what I'm thinking. Cause this is gonna be, uh 48 if you really think about it so i'm gonna put this back on and i'm gonna see what it looks like in the front and then we'll see uh from there but we're gonna have to get that uh tarp all the way here take the flap go all the way under is what we're gonna have to do underneath all that strap i think i'm gonna see i haven't done these in a long time i've done lumber like this but not steel so it's gonna be a first for me we'll see if we can get a good tarp out of it all right guys exactly 2:30. I just threw a bunch of bungees on here. I think I got it. Uh, where your flap is, guys, when you go under here, this bungee right here is grabbing on to that flap. So it's not gonna come out and walk that way. So pretty, pretty sure, it looks pretty good. Uh, might put a strap later over there because if that's where the, um, what do you call it? Uh, can't even think right now. The I don't know what it's called. I'm just, the flap. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm tired. I just checked the straps again. They look pretty good. I got a Tonka up there. Like here again, you guys can see I took this, weaved it through. Same thing, came back around here. Same thing here. Kind of kept pulling down. Uh, I just have this just in case. Kind of holding that together. Uh, in these situations, guys, just throw bungees at this thing it'll be all right so i'm gonna tie down that down there and we're gonna roll out of here and we'll see how this does what's up guys uh we're here in Santanella, california i am going to shut down here i could go further if i wanted to but there's no point not gonna make it tomorrow still got 560 miles and it's already 8.30, so we're not going to roll until 6.30. Still going to get fuel and load die. So my plan now turns to... Unless this place open late, then maybe. But I haven't called them yet. But more likely, I'm going to just try to run tomorrow and see if I get to the terminal and get some of this fixed. So then maybe Wednesday... All right guys, so that's gonna be the plan for tomorrow. I'm gonna go shower, we're gonna eat. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna make some tacos tonight. And then uh, see if the terminal can fix. Uh, fix my alignment. I got an airbag leak too now. So I don't know if I need to get that fixed right now or if I can make it to the terminal. I'm not sure yet. But there's a lot of things that need to be fixed on this trailer. And hopefully alignment, lights, airbags, uh, I got another little crack on my windshield. Uh, something else, I don't remember. <laughs> so, we're gonna get that fixed tomorrow, and then, um, and then we'll get this unloaded on Wednesday morning. So, if they can't take me Tuesday, then we'll get everything fixed on Wednesday. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace out, love y'all. I'll show you guys my tacos. All right, guys, here's tacos. I was gonna make some Spanish rice. Uh, but I'm tired. Don't want to cook you more stuff. So I'm just going to eat some couple tacos and go to bed. Um, so this is for dinner. I'll see you guys in the morning. Stay safe out there. Love y'all. Peace. All right. Good morning, guys. Look at it. 
Carb's actually doing really good. Uh, haven't fixed anything. The only thing probably is this right here. Probably find a bungee and just close that up. That's the only thing I saw, but this actually is doing really good. It's not ballooning. Uh, nothing's coming out. Looking looks pretty good, uh, especially up there too. Uh, the flap's not coming out. That's been doing pretty good. So this actually came out pretty good. So I'll fix that one spot. That was it. Uh, check the load. We did our inspection. So. All right, guys. Everything looks good out there. Uh, like I said, the tarp looks good. That tarp is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to come out looking that pretty good. Like, that's pretty cool. Uh, plan is to go to the, to the terminal to get my truck fixed and then um, get most of it fixed. Then get unloaded tomorrow uh, and then do the alignment. Alignment, you need to be empty. So I'm only like three minutes away from the terminal <laughs> where this place is at. So I'm hoping that they can knock out the airbags, the lights, uh, and all the other stuff. I don't remember, <laughs> but they can knock all that out and then um, deliver and then do the alignment. I don't know how long alignment takes, but I doubt that long. <laughs> but if I get that done, then I won't lose out no miles because after the line, I can just leave and get an next load and keep rolling. So that's the hope and the plan. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and I'll keep you guys updated. We're going to hit the load die, get some more fuel. And then, so we'll see you guys there. And then we'll see you guys at the terminal. We have, I have uh, 564 miles to go. So like I said, about five o'clock, I should be at the terminal. So see you guys at load die. What's up guys? We're here in load die, California at the Lowe's. Been a minute since I've been to this Loves. Been a little while. I was hoping that's a bad spot to break down. Uh, I was hoping it had McDonald's, but no yeah, McDonald's. Got nasty Arby's. See this another Burger King that's closed. So many Burger Kings closing. Probably a perfect spot for a Starbucks or McDonald's. Jack in the Box. night there and then uh, get a tarp around I wake about 6 6 30 and then get a tarp they said they'll be ready they actually called me they were thinking maybe they have somebody stay but they said no I'll just deliver tomorrow I was almost excited that they would be able to take me but What's up guys? Uh, so these guys get off about 11, 11.30. He's gonna try to fix as much as he can today and tomorrow morning they'll wrap it up. So he looked at the airbags. He said, none of them are leaking. So I don't know. He just says the leveling valve is the main issue for the trailer. So we'll see. I should have filmed it. I should have filmed it. 
there's an air duct, there's an APU needs to be, those are the two things that came up. And then the alignment could be an issue. He said on older trailers, it could take an hour or two just to bang it out. <laughs> I don't know, man. So pray tomorrow that's not the issue. Hopefully in two hours to do alignment and they can finish the rest and be rolling out of here. So uh, tomorrow morning, uh, we're going to bed six, get there at 6.30 untarp everything they're gonna unload by 7 30 and say takes an hour for them maybe 8 30 get back to the terminal by 9 be rolled out by 11 hopefully get in time to pick up a next load that's gonna be the issue is from here most places are about two and a half hours to go pick up lumber is down that way is two hours going back up to portland is another two and a half hours anything around here pretty much is about two hours so i need to roll out here by Probably nearly the latest tomorrow. So if not, we're probably gonna be here all day tomorrow. So we'll keep you guys posted tomorrow what goes on. So I'm going to bed uh, in about one hour because that's when they're done. Uh, they go home and then we'll keep you guys updated tomorrow morning. So see y'all, love y'all, peace, stay safe. What's up everyone? So we're still here at the terminal. Uh, it's 2.30, probably roll out here by three. They're almost done. Got a whole laundry of things they wanted to fix, even doing like APU, stuff like that. So, um, kind of a wasteful day, but I got a really good weekend load. So uh, it's about 200 miles. I'll get 200 miles today, just deadheading to where we're gonna pick up. We don't have to tarp it, so that's good. And then I could drive almost all the way there um, next three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, uh, that's gonna be a plan. Hey, uh, so if you guys know Trent here at Central Oregon, this guy lies about everything. <laughs> Tells me I'm the best driver, you know, hey buddy, all this kind of stuff. You guys work at Central Oregon, you guys know about Trent. <laughs> and uh, I told him I didn't make Elite Fleet. So he said, I made you this, number one driver. And then he signed it. And I'm gonna paper clip this in my hat. I've been wearing this all day. <laughs> so I know I'm not gonna get a leaf fleet this early. You know, I just got here, but, and I don't drive them um, a lot of miles. I do for like the week. I'm not going home, but I go home every weekend. So uh, I don't run a lot of miles compared to other drivers that don't go home too often. So don't ever expect to get it. Don't care to get it, you know? <laughs> I just wanna work hard and, and stuff like that. So, um, I did talk to everybody here in house, got to say hello to everybody. Saw my buddy Pete, my favorite sales guy. <laughs> and then uh, they gave me a random drug test. So uh, I don't really do that kind of stuff anyway. So I'm not worried about that. Now, if they do an alcohol test, then <laughs> that could be a different story. But uh, I only drink when I'm at home. So, and then maybe here and there on a 34, but that's about it. So not too worried about that. I just want to get out of here. Uh, and we should be good for the next couple of weeks on this truck, man. They tore that trailer up. And I even got a new box, so <laughs> that's kind of cool. Um, new airbags, leveling valve, APU, a new side light. Um, they ran, ran the stuff through the computer, fixing whatever they see, new filters. Uh, and I think that's about it. So got a lot done today needed it so hopefully from here on out we'll be good to go uh without any repairs and the truck's been running really good so uh, that's a good thing so i'll keep you guys posted hopefully be out of here in about 30 minutes is the plan i want to get out of here <laughs> so we'll see you guys uh probably in riddle if we can get there pretty soon all right guys uh, i got everything fixed it's uh 5 30. uh finally rolling out of here but not too pissed because we did get a good weekend load. Um, and I'll probably lose out just on 300 miles because it's 200 miles to Riddle. So it is what it is. Got most of the stuff fixed and I got a really good weekend load. So that's all that matters. So we'll see you guys at Riddle and then I'll show you guys the new box and some of the stuff that I did or they did. <laughs> and hopefully no more issues from here on out is gonna be the plan. So. We'll see you guys at Riddle. What's up, 
guys. Uh, we're here at Roseburg. Uh, loves getting fuel. Only about 16 miles, 20 miles away. So not too far away. Uh, it's nine o'clock right now. So we'll get some fuel. And then, uh, man, this loves is always busy for fuel, guys. Always busy. <laughs> Never ever gets empty here. Um, so, feeling a little tired. But, uh, I'll have to see our England's doing. If he's just getting fuel now or what? So, uh, I'll probably get to see you guys in Roseburg after fueling. I'm tired and I don't know. I'm in a little funk right now, so we'll see you guys. What's up, guys? We're here in Rudel, Oregon. Uh, if you guys been up here, the first Roseburg before this one is always tarped, and this one just a quarter mile up, maybe a mile up, uh, is a no tarp. So you will know if you're tarping or not. <laughs> That's a day capper. Never mind. What are those called? Hoppers? Something like that, guys? Uh, you guys know. When did Roseburg start adding all these blue lights? <laughs> Kind of cool. Okay. Park right here next to him. here uh, like I guess I'll let this guy go first and then I'll fall behind him and we should get loaded uh, pretty early uh, they start receiving at 6 30 so probably like about 5 45 start heading up there so like I said guys I'm not doing well <laughs> I don't know I'm just in a funk I didn't have a really good home time why am I in the dark <laughs> and then uh, just be at the terminal I don't know um, I don't know. So, uh, go on, go bed early, and then uh, wake up hopefully in a better mood. <laughs> so, kind of overdoing the videos right now, but kind of want to have a mental break. I feel like, but probably do a bunch of short videos the next couple of days since we're going to Texas for Monday. So, we'll see how that week goes. So, all right, guys, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. So, it's nine. 9.48, so tomorrow, can't leave till 7.48 anyways, so by the time we get loaded and strapped, it'll be, my 10 will be up, and then we'll do an on-duty inspection, on-duty loading, and stuff like that, so, alright guys, we'll see you in the morning, peace out, love y'all.